What's up? Welcome to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Sunday. You know it's a Sunday fun day here. Round cheer, August 11, 2024. I hope you will join us tonight. Me, Jeff, and Sean are back 7.30 p.m. Eastern with the live show right here on YouTube. And if you can't join us on YouTube, please uh, check us out on the podcast. I will have the audio out uh, the next morning. So, uh... People ask me all the time, what what can I do to support the show? It's simple. Just uh, share it with a friend, hit like on the videos, uh, subscribe to the uh, podcast. Any of those things, they're all free. Um, subscribe to the channel as well. Um, and if you really want to do stuff, uh, buy a shirt. Go to thebuckeyecast.com. Buy a shirt. They're all on sale. Get yourself one of these Ohio Against the World t-shirts. Very reasonably priced. They're a tri blend, very comfortable, good in the summertime. So, um, all the shirts that you see me wear on the shows are I are my designs. I've created them and uh, uploaded them to the shop. So, just go to thebuckeyecast.com. You'll see them there. All right, today we're talking linebackers. Uh, last week, James Laronitis uh, met and the the linebackers met with the media and got some good little nuggets and and some info. It's good to hear from the linebacker group. Um, so we're going to hear where we, uh, we got uh, some quotes from Cody Simon, Sonny Styles, CJ Hicks, Arvell Reese, Gabe Powers. So let's get into it first with the position coach, James Laronitis, uh, former all American in case you didn't know <laughs> on Cody Simon. He said, Cody is the unquestioned leader of the group. He's the leader of the defense. He gets everybody lined up. Um, on his depth at linebacker, James said, if you earn the right to play, you'll play, you'll rotate. Uh, Laronitis said that he expects the rotation to be constantly fluid based on performance. So um, maybe we don't see as many of those uh, guy starts because he's a senior kind of things. Maybe it's strictly merit based, right? Um, Laronitis said Sonny Styles wants to be great. And it shows in his approach to the game. He wants to understand why he's supposed to do something. Um, Lauren Nice said CJ Hicks is probably the best blitzer in the room. Um, he said Arvell Reese and Sonny Styles could both have an argument against that because they're both very good at the blitz as well. Um, Lauren Nice on Gabe Powers. He said Gabe's gotten a lot more confident. Um, and he wants his Mike linebackers to be the general on the field. Uh, Lauren, I just said uh, Powers is starting to kind of get more comfortable in the role of speaking up and being loud and demonstrative. Uh, he also talked about freshman linebacker Peyton Pierce. He's been taking reps at both Will and Mike linebacker. He missed uh, spring due to an injury, and Lauren, I just said uh, Pierce is not behind at all, even though he missed uh, spring ball on the field. Uh, Laura Nice also talked about Garrett Stover. He said he expects Stover to earn playing time on special teams as a freshman because of how athletic he is. He's supposed to be one of the fastest guys on the team. So um, now Cody Simon, let's talk Cody Simon here. Uh, Simon said, <laughs> that sounds funny. Simon said, stand on one hand. Uh, no, Simon talked about having to wait his turn to see the field like he and CJ Hicks. Um he said it was a little bit frustrating because he knew Tommy was a great player. Uh, for us, it's really about being selfless. Uh, Simon was pumped to hear James Laurinaitis called him the most complete linebacker on the roster. Uh, Simon said you can never be perfect in linebacker development. Uh, he's still pushing himself to be better in fall camp. Um, Cody said Sonny Styles and CJ Hicks are doing really well playing their tails off at the will linebacker position. And he, he also said that uh, Ohio State has some athletic freaks in the linebacker room, including Sonny, CJ, and Arvell Reese. Uh, now let's go to Sonny Styles. Styles said on his offseason changes to his body that he gained about 10 pounds and actually got faster. Uh, all his times went up. Max speed went up. Uh, so he got faster, stronger, and heavier. Um, he said playing safety for the first two years definitely helped in coverage. Uh, he got a good feel of zone drops. 
he feels like he has a good understanding of what everyone's doing overall on the defense. Um, I'm covering mostly tight ends and running backs now rather than receivers. Uh, Sonny said that he feels that it fits him well. He didn't like guarding a bunch of guys who run four threes. Uh, he feels like he can run faster than them or just as fast and be just as strong as running backs and, and tight ends. So um, Styles got to know a lot about the will linebacker position by playing safety. Uh, he said that he had a pretty good understanding when he played the bandit because a lot of his fits were off of the will and what he was doing or his job description would be off of the will linebacker. But when he moved to Will, there was more figuring out the D-line. So um, getting to know where you fit in, you know, on run fits and things like that in relationship to the D-line is the new challenge for him. On Peyton Pierce and Garrett Stover at linebacker, he said uh, he thinks they're doing great. Stover's a super, super athletic guy. Peyton, he's just a great football player. So good words on the youngins. Uh, let's go C.J. Hicks here. <clears throat> Hicks on uh, competing with Sonny Styles at Will Linebacker. He said that he and Sonny both talk about it a lot. Uh, he said they don't care who starts as long as both of them are eating. As long as they're both making plays, that's all that matters to them. Uh, Hicks agrees with Cody Simon that blitzing the QB is one of his strong suits. And he's uh, C.J. said, uh, the athletic linebacker should be able to create more sacks and TFLs this year. CJ also says he's confident with his abilities and he expects to have a big year, force more, more negative plays and oppose for opposing offenses. Um, now, Arvell Reese. Arvell said he uh, wants to carry on the history of Cleveland Glenville players having success at Ohio State. He started his Ohio State career as an edge rusher in last year's fall camp. Uh, Reese says he's fully comfortable as a linebacker midway through spring. Uh, he says he likes playing Mike linebacker a little bit more than edge. On what he thinks he brings to this defense, he said he's a sideline to sideline type of linebacker. He's fast and good at getting off of blocks. Um, Reese said he struggled with being a vocal linebacker in his high school career, but he's learned how to become loud and confident since arriving at Ohio State. Um, Arbell said he's learned a lot about how to play Mike linebacker from watching Cody Simon and Tommy Eichenberg. And last on the list here is Gabe Powers from Marysville. Uh, Gabe says uh, on whether he ever considered transferring, he said, I chose here. I don't want to be anywhere else. I want to be here. On his preseason camp, he said, there's a lot more expected of me, a lot of expectations. Powers said he needs a, a huge improvement from where he was at this time a year ago. Uh, he said the game's slowing down for him. Uh, the game's so much different from the speed is so much different from high school to college. So it's really, really fast, he said. Uh, but once you understand the defense, it slows down dramatically. Um, Gabe Powers talking about Laurinaitis as a coach. He said, uh, quote, he's been an amazing coach. He's obviously – he knows the game. He's played one of the greatest to ever do it. Uh, so he understands linebacker play and how fits work and everything like that. So definitely helps to have a guy coaching you that has done it at the highest level for multiple years. You know, was he two- or three-time All-American eight-year vet, I want to say, eight-year vet in the NFL? See, that seems good. <laughs> um, All-time leading tackler for the Rams, so – uh, I feel good about these linebackers. Definitely, you are going to see more speed out of this group, if nothing else. Um, no matter who's playing the will, you know, with Cody Simon playing every game at Mike and then either Sonny or CJ coming off at the will, you are going to see more athleticism. Not to bang on Steele and, and Tommy, but a little different, a little different, Sonny, Sonny and CJ. So uh, please join us tonight. 7.30 p.m. Eastern on YouTube Live. We will be here, me, Jeff, and Sean, doing score predictions. Hello. That's all I got for you today. Talk to you tonight or tomorrow, whichever comes first. Talk to you later. Go Bucks.